One of the aspects I've talked about, in addition to stopping corruption, which I've been talking about, as you know, for a couple of years, and requiring the South Vietnamese do more of the building so that when they build the bridge, uh, that part of them is in it, they have a vested interest in protecting it, and if the VC destroy it, then of course they're destroying their rapport with the people, uh, without which they, they cannot maintain uh, the control. Uh, but the, another fundamental aspect is to get the, North Vietnamese, the South Vietnamese to do a larger share of this fighting. Uh, we've begun to do this now. General Abrams was sent over there with the primary purpose of equipping and training the South Vietnamese Army, but we still haven't done the job we need to do. Uh, many of the elements of the urban forces, the South Vietnamese forces, are going into battle against an enemy that's equipped with the latest weapons, as good as ours, I'm told, and yet they're equipped with carbines and M1s that went out of date at the end of World War II. So I think when we can equip and train and provide leadership for the South Vietnamese, we can then put them into places, as we have in a couple of places. Say, this is your responsibility, and move our forces out in a blocking and a backup area, and, and give them the responsibility for protecting their own country.